sentry gun is ready. Bravo secure. Super high, ready for deployment. Hey, what is up, dudes? My name is Freaky, and today is going to be a Best Gun Class setup video for the Vector CBR in Call of Duty Ghosts, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. This is my favorite Best Gun Class setup that I've ever made, because the class is a freaking monster. Uh, it literally just tears kids apart. I've never really gone uh, bad with this class. If I always go at least over a 2.0, and even farther than that, as you guys will see in the gameplays and such like that, I always get, like, triple feeds and stuff like that with this class. Uh, and I'm using way different perks than I normally use in Best Gun Class setups and that kind of excited me and that's probably why it's one of my best uh favorite best gun class setups so Let's hop right into this class setup. So, the max damage of this weapon is a 45, meaning if you're shooting him in the torso region or the chest uh, up close, it's going to be about 45, which means that you're going to get a three shot kill to the chest, depending on how far away he is and how close he is. Uh, minimal damage is 20, so that's the drop off point. So, if you're shooting him in the legs, the hands, the arms, the legs, or even at a distance, it's always going to be at about a 20 uh, damage, meaning that's going to be about a five shot kill from a really far away distance. Now, the head multiplier is a 1.5. Meaning that it's going to be a two-shot kill if you get him one in the head and one in the chest or two in the head It'll be a two-shot kill to the head, which is really really nice especially for a SMG uh, Because SMGs are actually pretty powerful in this game. So let's go over to the class setup today guys We got the attachment we got grip and extended mags now a lot of people with this class use the red dot sight I was actually wanting to use the red dot sight a lot with this gun but the iron sights are almost as perfect as a red dot sight. I don't know. I actually really like these iron sights. Even though they're kind of, uh, you know, just, I don't know, get rid of the enemy. They kind of just don't work as well. There's something about them that just remind me of good old time Call of Duty, like an MW2 feel or something like that. And I think I'm just really used to those type of iron sights. Now, um, a lot of people, you guys can switch it out. But I use grip and extended mags for a reason. So grip is going to keep the recoil low. That's just kind of an obvious thing, meaning that you're going to get easier kills with it uh, if if you want to spray and pray and uh, or try to spray someone from a distance you might be able to hit that person from a distance just by holding down the trigger who knows um, but extended mags will come in handy today because we're gonna get 46 rounds per magazine and it's gonna help since we don't have sled a hand on so that's the whole reason why I put extended mags on especially since we're gonna be running around we don't want to reload a lot and um, that's why I do not have red dot on I wanted something that could help us get more kills than have uh, a little bit better accuracy if you know what I'm talking about so you know no more bullets could cause into more uh, enemies dying uh, instead of a red dot sight, which would just help us kill someone a little bit faster. So, you know what I'm saying. So, just get used to the iron sights. If you want to swap out extended mags for a red dot sight, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but this is my attachments for this class today. So, the perks today that we are using are ready up, stalker, resistance, focus, fully loaded, and ping. Now, if you guys have ever watched any of my other best gun class setups, you know that those do not sound really like any other perks that I've used before in other best gun class setups because some of them are not. And uh, I don't know why I made this class like this, but it's a really, really fun class to use. It's amazing. I love it so much. So, ready up is definitely going to come in handy by keeping our sights ready after sprinting since with this class, you're going to want to be sprinting a lot. And it seems like with SMGs, I just want to rush. I just want to be in their spawn, in their face, uh, running around, doing a little dance on their grave, doing whatever possible to get them killed. And um, that's pretty much what this class is all about. So, it keeps our sights up after sprinting, which is amazing. Stalker, it helps us strafe easier while ADSing enemies, so it'll... It'll, ease, it'll make it easier for us to uh, kill enemies, uh, especially if they don't have the best of aim. And if they don't have Stalker on, you're most likely going to win that gunfight if you can keep your uh, aimer right on the enemy at all times. So, Resistance is going to help us take no fall damage. Now, I don't really know why I put this on. I think it's just because I'm going to be running around a lot, and if there's any fall points in the map, I tend to die from those things. So, I decided to slap that perk on. It's only a one-point perk, so I decided to slap that one on, and it actually comes in useful, especially if you're running out of a gunfight, say you're in a high area and uh, you don't want to take any fall damage, there you go, and you won't die and you might be able to turn around and win that gunfight after all. So that does come in handy in some situations. Focus reduces the flinch when shot. That's kind of obvious. You always want to have that perk on. If you don't have focus on, you're just going to lose a lot of gunfights. You really, really are. And um, it, j it really sucks if you don't have it on. I was trying to take it off on any, any class possible. 
you just can't do it. Fully loaded, it gives us the max ammo of 288 plus. So as many as much ammo as we can actually hold on this game with this gun, it gives us right in the starting uh, beginning of the life, which is awesome. Meaning that's going to get 288 plus the first clip, which is awesome. So it's about like 300 and some. Uh, I think it's like 340 some bullets overall. So the last perk today is ping. Now ping is actually an amazing perk and I don't know why a lot of people don't utilize this perk because this perk is actually amazing uh, it basically every time you kill someone it shows off like a little motion sensor bleep that goes over and in that area that lights up if any enemies are around there it'll show them that they're there uh, which is basically your own little UAV so as long as you're getting kills as long as you're progressing uh, in your kill streaks you're basically gonna know where the enemy is at all times so if you want to be a little bit lenient after you get a kill and you don't know if another enemy is gonna be there uh, then you basically uh, can look up at the minimap and if it pings and you don't see any enemy there then you can run over there and um, unless they have incognito or something like that which not a lot of people use so basically this perks gonna be in handy all the time so uh, this perk is amazing. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now that perk is amazing And it will come in handy so many times it will save your life so many freaking times And you might be able to get like triple feeds and quad feeds a lot more often using this perk So this has been the best gun class setup for the vector CBR. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it uh, Test it out. Let me know in the comment section below. What was your score line? And uh, also let me know uh, what other gun you would like to see in another best gun class setup on Call of Duty Ghost This has been a freaking gameplay commentator drop this video a like if you guys enjoyed uh, make sure to share with your friends on Twitter and Facebook so they can test out this class and try it out for themselves. It's an awesome class. I always go over 2.0 KD or more uh, as you guys can see in the gameplay. I, I'm like rocking it out and doing some crazy stuff on it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to go check my other videos in the outro and I will catch your freaky faces in the next video. Hey, what is going on, dudes? My name is Freaky, and today is going to be that day of the week again for some Q&A Fridays, and today is going to be episode 55, which is pretty exciting because it's a pretty big number. So, if you guys are new to the Q&A Friday series, it's the weekly series that I do on my channel where all my subscribers can...